Hi, good morning everybody. I know it's been a while since I've made a video. So I am coming here to share some Medicare information um, with you guys. Um, as most of you guys know who follow me on other social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, um, things like that. So you guys know I have a CRC exam prep program um, or um, exam prep uh, class from October the 2nd through December the 18th. Um, so I've been busy doing that, a lot of other things. So today I want to come to you because uh, I haven't made a video in a while. And I wanted to talk about the different parts of Medicare. So sometimes it can be confusing, Medicare Part A, B, C, D. So I just wanted to do a breakdown, you guys. And I always refer back to this video. I just kind of wanted to do a breakdown um, of Medicare and the different parts um, and what it covers. So we know that there are different types of payers. There are commercial payers, you know, such as Aetna, Blue Cross, um, you know, Humana, things like that. And then of course you have government payers, Medicare, Medicaid, TRICARE, if you've been in the army or the um, military or any kind of service, then, you know, there's TRICARE that covers those as well, which is uh, again, government insurance. So although some patients will pay in full uh, for their own medical expenses, most patients will have some type of insurance coverage. And like I said, there are two um, primary types of insurance. There are private insurance plans, and then there are government insurance plans. Uh, so let's talk about first Medicare Part A. So Medicare Part A. Uh, well, first, let's talk about uh, the eligibility of Medicare. So most significant government insurer um, is Medicare. Medicare is a federal health insurance program, and it's administered by CMS, which is the Centers um, for Medicare and Medicaid Services. So if you see CMS, that's what that's for. So Medicare uh, provides coverage. Here's the eligibility requirements. So Medicare provides coverage for people who are over 65. If you're blind, uh, or disabled, and people with permanent kidney failure or ESRD, which is end-stage uh, renal disease. So CMS regulations will determine uh, the coding requirements for Medicare and some Medicaid payers. So uh, Medicare program is made up of several parts. So let's talk about Medicare Part A. So Part A helps uh, cover inpatient hospital care, uh, as well as providing in skilled nursing facilities like uh, you'll call it SNF, S-N-F. So if you see that, or if you hear someone say it's SNF, that's a skilled nursing facility. So Medicare Part A covers inpatient hospital care, uh, as well as care provided in skilled nursing facilities, uh, hospice, or home health. That's Part A. So Medicare Part B helps with, uh, helps with covering medically necessary physician services. Um, outpatient care and other medical services, including preventative care. Uh, if you have your annuals or things like that, anything that prevents, um, you know, uh, or preventative care, things to um, check out uh, your health now to prevent things uh, from going down the line that you don't know that's going on. So if you get preventative care, um, you can kind of better monitor your health. So Medicare Part B helps cover medically necessary physician services like outpatient care, uh, preventative services and things like that that's not covered under Medicare Part A. So Medicare Part B is an optional benefit for which the patient must pay a premium and which generally requires a yearly deductible and a co-insurance. So that's Medicare Part B. So Part C is also called Medicare Advantage. Um, and a Medicare Advantage plan, it combines the benefits of Medicare Part A, Part B, and sometimes Part D, which we'll get to next. So private payers who administer Medicare Advantage um, plans are referred to as Medicare Advantage organizations or MAOs, if you see that. Uh, the plans are managed by private insurers approved by Medicare. The plans may charge different co-payments, co-insurance, or deductibles for different services. So Medicare Advantage plans are reimbursed by CMS. So CMS is the one who pays for this Part C care through MAOs. Um, Medi excuse me, CMS uses risk adjustment models based on the health status of their members for payment reimbursement. 
So Medicare Part D is a prescription drug coverage program. And that's available to everybody or all beneficiaries of Medicare. So private companies approved by Medicare provide this coverage as well. So Medicaid is a health insurance assistance program for some low income people, especially children and pregnant women sponsored by the federal and state government. And it's administered on a state by state basis, but state programs must adhere to certain federal guidelines. So that's Medicaid and those eligibilities. A lot of people think Medicaid and Medicare is the same thing. It is not. So state-funded insurance programs uh, providing coverage for children up to 21 years of age uh, may include crippled children services, children medical services, uh, children indigent disability services, and children with special health care needs, uh, among others. So in today's video, again, we covered the Medicare services, A, B, C, and D, because a lot of people think that Medicare and Medicaid is the same thing, although they're both governed by CMS, it is not. So thank you so much for joining and watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on my other social media platforms. On Instagram, it's the coding coach underscore CPC. On Facebook, it's a Dynamic Medical Billing and Coding Group. And here, of course, you're already here on Instagram. So make sure, excuse me, on YouTube. So make sure you drop any comments, any questions, or anything like that so I can answer them for you. Thank you so much for joining, and I'll see you next time.